Welcome to Friday. Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, where We're we back. play new games on classic consoles. And we are back. Oh, you were already back, though, I without was. me. Oh. I know. It wasn't a Friday. It was a Wednesday. But yeah. this is the second show back. Uh, it's like season two. Yeah. Part I like two. It. I like it. I like season two. 2019 -ish. Season is the new whatever we had before, <laughs> which was nothing. It was just nothing. <laughs> it was just a show before. But now it's... Uh, <laughs> yeah, we're back, and we're playing some more games, and we had a little rest from after the award show. You had a rest. Oof, this guy was working hard. So hard. All the time, doing things. Stuff. Yeah. Um, but the, the awards was uh, fun. It was. So good yeah, times. it was really fun. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm really looking forward to 2019's already because <laughs> it was it was a lot of fun giving away trophies to people and saying you did awesome this year yeah. you were good here's the thing <laughs> <laughs> and uh, some people have now emailed me saying they've got their trophies um, which is awesome because I didn't I didn't email uh, ma mail them till not too long ago because I've been quite busy even though I've not been doing the show been lot been very busy with uh, my film so and uh, yeah, I typed in the chat that uh, it's last showing in my hometown, Vancouver, is Sunday, and then it's off to New York City. Does anybody out there live in New York City? You can come see me at, at my film. There's nothing to do with video games, Not, unless there's a video game conference at the same time. Yeah, that would be, be your greatest cool. hopes and dreams <laughs> it would fulfilled. Be. That would be. That would be amazing. You could but. die now. <laughs> <laughs> oh thank you for resubscribing ground trooper he's on a seven month streak of subscribing awesome good job so we're gonna play some games today um last on wednesday we played a game that was very somebody is made an engine that was very close to ultima 3 oh and they actually you took told the me about map that. from ultima 3 and so put it in the game. Did you do that on Wednesday? Yeah. I know. I you know. you should have saved that for me. I don't know the what you were thinking. Next time it'll be on a Friday. <laughs> next time. There was no there it wasn't it was just the map and you could walk Making around. Making excuses now. <laughs> yeah. I'm, the, I'm downplaying how good it was. <laughs> 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 it was actually crashing on the actual hardware so we had to do it in emulator. Um, because the guy's developing it on the Uno cart. And not the Harmony cart, which I found uh, out after. Uh, so it kind of worked on the Harmony cart, but it, it crashed after a couple of minutes. And that's just something that can be corrected for later once... Yeah, I do have an Uno cart. So oh, okay. that's what I'll be doing next time. But my Uno cart doesn't work on my 6-switcher, which is the RGB oh. output for some reason. I've been working with the developer to try and fix that. Um, but I've got to get them going again. S. Ramirez, hello! He missed last uh, episode, so he's very happy he's here now. Is there a reason... Would most things work on both carts? Most non-super complicated things would. Because okay. <clears throat> the Una cart's brand new, so it tried to be very backwards compatible to everything on the Harmony. Mm -hmm. um, but he's developing using the Uno, so if mm -hmm. there is any problems that comes up with the Harmony, he's not going to know. Right, right. He's only going to know the Uno stuff, which... I didn't know till I started doing that, and I guess he assumed that the harmony worked fine. And he's and he's pushing he's pushing the limit, so he's using whatever he can out of the card. Oh yeah. yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah. very limit pushing. Just think of what Ultima Three looks like, and it's a tile based you know movement and very Which high resolution Ultima 3? graphics. The normal Ultima 3 or Brad's Ultima 3, yes. which the entire continent is covered in chests. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> yes. Yeah, because when you kill Most a creature... Most people have a chest near uh, Moonglade, but he had a chest everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Did I, I started doing that too, after yeah, a while. Yeah, and it's like... like it after was, you win the game, can you continue playing? He would playing, show I the think? game... Yeah, because it just keeps going. Yes, that's and, what I... Uh, it's not, it wasn't, the chests weren't everywhere, but it was like, oh. the the way that the monsters spawned was based on free area. And, the and so the more chests you area. had, the fewer monsters. So whenever they saw a monster, they're like, oh, there's a monster, get him! <laughs> <laughs> and they would drag him over to where they wanted the chest. Uh, yes. Yeah. But he, the monster can't walk on chests, can they? No. Or can they? Anyway, when you kill the monster, it turns into a chest That's right, sometimes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. And that's why that's why the chests are there. Yeah. So I'd be interested to see if this game 
leaves a chest or probably not just because it, it takes up a lot of memory to store 64 by 64 chest yes or no well not that much it takes uh six yeah it would take a lot actually code so 64 it depends by on how 64 much you get to use out of bits. the cart um yeah some of them you can have extended oh, the real right question here. though actually would be say goodbye given that pencil. given that that was essentially <laughs> like a feature bug yeah, the fact that the chest cool. could stay forever. It was it was cool, but not, you know, like, important to the game. Yes. Why would you put that much effort into it? Apart from to please us. Yeah. It would please us. <laughs> but that's yes, all would. you would get out of it. But he's not making Ultima 3. Oh. He's using Ultima 3 as kind of a template. Mm -hmm. And then he's changing the graphics and changing the map. But it's it's really, really, really cool. Yeah, that's cool. Um, but it's just started. Um, so the game's today... Pixel says high thrust. Yes, uh, he said as he went. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got four games today. We've got Avalanche, a exclusive 2019 work in progress update. Uh, we've got Up Plus. We played Up before, but not Up Plus. Uh, and this is a also a custom version of Up Plus for zero page homebrew. So ah. thank you very much, Jason. We'll get to that. Well, uh, we're also playing This Planet Sucks. Oh. And this is from 1998. Very pessimistic. <laughs> yes, very 1998. pessimistic. That's cool. Yeah, so really, really old game uh, in terms of homebrew. And we're playing uh, Space Rocks, the 2015 tournament edition of it. So we're actually, uh, it's very difficult. Very difficult because it was used in a tournament. Um, so people couldn't play forever. Uh, and that's by Daryl Spice Jr., uh, AKA Spiceware. And I see it says Tournament Edition right on the graphic. That's right. Yep. And it uh, was not easy getting that uh, graphic because there's there, I couldn't find a picture of it straight on. I had a picture like at a three quarter view. So I had to do um, transform in Photoshop to make it straight. Ah. But, you know, making these graphics helps. From over learn. here, I can't tell. No, when you get close to it, you can see that one of the as it goes to the edge it gets kind of blurry yeah, yeah. yeah kev says he got uh, ultima 3 on good old games uh have trouble getting warmed up to the old ultimas they're fun they're fun i mean they're i very wonder basic. i wonder if the old like ultima 3 i might be able to play i wonder where the line mm -hmm. i suspect that the early ones i could play to some degree yeah and but that there would be a period in the middle where they try to do graphics you know what it was Ultima eight I think that I that I bought yes and it had so many bugs in it <laughs> like like you would fall through the walls oh, and God. and also I just really had no idea what I was supposed to do it was it was so unobvious oh yeah well they got it was three quarter really view. complicated as it as it went on yeah eight turned a lot off a lot of people wasn't that the last one and eight? it was a weird island and it was like was it? Hmm. I never played eight. Ultima I, I ten looked was at seven uh, or six. Was first person. Well, there was an Ultima ten. Yeah, um, and it was the last one. Oh. And you were like, ending the world or something. <laughs> that shut it all or, down. Or you didn't end the world. You ended the uh, what? What? What the hell was the your goal? Your goal was become. What was number five? Quest of the Avatar. Yeah, Quest of the Avatar. Yeah. Uh, the. Bringing the Avatar into existence brought the evil into existence. What was the the, the bad guy that came in maybe five? And so the, the only way to get rid of him was for you to die. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. Spoiler! <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I'm supposed to say spoiler first, but I didn't. Uh, sorry. Um, <laughs> okay, enough about Ultima. Yeah, enough about Ultima. I know I'm <laughs> a bad person. playing Ultima. <laughs> uh, I want to thank the Twitch subscribers. Uh, Gretem's Ground Trooper. I supposed to Johnny WC23. Mr. Fix, RC70, Tiki, Dan K. And you can support the show for free by subscribing. If you link your Amazon Prime to Twitch Prime and hit subscribe. How do so, you do that? <laughs> I'm, this is not me uh, trying to create <laughs> fake content. I really don't know. Like, okay. if you have Amazon Prime... Amazon Prime, we get the movies, you get fast shipping. So you automatic... If you have Amazon Prime... You can do this for free. You can, then you just connect it to your Twitch account? Yeah, somehow. Okay. I think you might have to do it in Twitch and tell them, hey, I have an Amazon Prime because Amazon owns Twitch. Okay, yeah, I can figure that out. <clears throat> and yeah. then you just click subscribe and boom... 
you are awesome. <laughs> 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 you get a little uh, little star beside your name, I believe. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, see the star beside Ai Sposta? He is a subscriber. What does the crown mean? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what the crown means. Let's see. It, will it tell us? Twitch they have Prime. Twitch Prime. Oh, Kev. Kev, you have Twitch Prime, but you're not a subscriber, Kev. Right. <laughs> Seventy-three. That's pretty funny. You can call people out. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Maybe he used up his uh, his one free a month for somebody else. That's right. Which is quite possible. And excusable, barely. <laughs> barely. To somebody else. Somebody, <laughs> somebody better. How how could you betray us like this? Have seventy three. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> um, we have no mail today to open because I opened it all on Wednesday. It was a huge stack, and it's only been two days, and I don't get mail, video game related mail every day, which would be cool. But my house would fill up immediately, more than it already does. Can you open the door again? Actually, I'm gonna open the window. It's getting really hot. Both. Really hot, yeah. As the cats come, they know. They do come. They can hear the the door open but not close. Because sometimes I go out of the room. Yeah, very muggy today. It's not really sunny, but it is muggy. So we're going to start with Avalanche uh, by Champ Games. Um, and let's so let's switch over. And we're, and we're not going to play with coffee. a joystick, even though it does work with a joystick. We're going to play it with the um, with the paddles, because right. that is a superior uh, input for this game. Nice. And we always want to play it the best way possible. If you could hold on to those. Right, we'll switch it out. Wow, fancy. Very. That's pretty good. I very much like approve. That? Yeah. Oh yeah. I didn't see that before. Um, what it is is. Oh, Star Age. Oh, let's switch over so people can see what's going on. There we go. Avalanche. Um, yeah, I, I. They need to be a little bit more extended, I think. No, this is pretty good. I've got a little DB9 extender out of the back of the Atari, so you don't have to plug it in the back anymore. Yeah, it's pretty great. And it also gives some more length. Too, oh yeah, yeah. Which is double which is bonus. good for this because this just barely fits. Yeah, these are really short. Yeah, um, the um, it's like we're in. Oh, the joystick we're half. gone. I thought there was joystick. Maybe they. I somehow envision you sitting in a. We're cellar. half. We're half underground. Yeah, so yeah. we're kind of in a cellar. The window is There's at no ground wine. level. There's no cement floor. Yeah, the window is basically right at ground level. Yeah. So <clears throat> yes, there was. Okay. Okay. And this is an updated version. Um, let me get some info. Wait, is it time for info? It is time for a little bit of info. Then we'll play. Spoiler it. Let me turn down the volume of the music or the game. That is the ding, ding, ding. Oh, that's that was an error. The computer player made it <laughs> quite a large error. I wouldn't have even made that error. Well, yeah, it's just a demo. Some demos don't even count if you die. It just keeps playing for a certain amount of time. It just goes, random movement, <laughs> ignore the death. Um, the first build of this game was put out in July 17th, 2007. And the last public build of this game was the next day. So no public build of this game has been put out in 12 years. Hmm. And that must be a record for... The time between uh, updating the game. So this one was... Uh, um, John Champeau passed this uh, version to me February 18th, 2019. But that was kind of when we were doing the awards. Mm -hmm. So this is the first time back that I've been able to put this in. Um, so let's do it. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. But I'm going to go through the updates of the game. So... Oh, yeah. Let's just go one player standard. So catch the things. <laughs> Look at me catching the things. 
So, John Champo's other games, or Champ games, uh, Conquest of Mars, Elevator Action, Ripoff, Ladybug, Mappy, Scrambled, Super Cobra Arcade, Wizard of War, and Zoop Keeper. These include all uh, work in progress as well. It's getting harder. This uh, Ripoff, I don't think he's actually even released a version of Ripoff. Hissy noise in the background there. Uh oh. Uh oh. What happened? Why, why is it shrinking? Is that just That's, difficulty or no, is it just difficulty? Suck? Nope. Oh no! You lose one, you miss one, you you, you die. Yeah. Yeah, most time between public releases award goes to John <laughs> Shampoo for Avalanche. <laughs> um, I don't think that's a really something you want to go after <laughs> as an award. Oh, it's, 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 no. Can't miss any. Can't I know. Miss any. I know. Thank you. <laughs> I know that. Oh, by the way, you can't miss any, <laughs> or else you lose a life. Mm -hmm. This game is really hard, by the way. It's bloody hard. Oh. Uh, okay. I keep thinking I'm going to swipe through it and just grab it at the last second, but no. From... Speed is not always your friend. So, uh, I, we did play this on the show before, um, <laughs> a couple months ago, and this must have been what prompted him to kind of uh, do an update and, get, and uh, send over this version to me. Um, does Avalanche have paddle jitter removing code? Like Circus Atari Age 2600. Winning by stamina again? Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> what? Uh, anyway. Okay, this, uh, was made as a port of Avalanche by Atari from 1978, um, which they actually turned into an actual game, or, um, oh. Activision did. Uh, called Kaboom. Everybody knows Kaboom. So very, very, very similar to Kaboom. Except for me. Um, except uh, Kaboom is not a row of... No. A row of rocks falling down. It's some guy dropping bombs from the top because it's so much easier to represent one bomb at a time than a huge row of, of graphics, as you can see. There's a lot of um, graphics to keep track of at the top. Uh, the game is 4K, supports one or two players. It, this is old information. It, the game supports paddles or joystick, but it is just paddles. Um, to select which controller, press the paddle button to start the game, or the joystick button to start with the joystick. But there is only paddles now, because they removed that code. Uh, the game supports color or black and white, which uh, using the color black and white switch. Let's take a look. I die because you choose oh, the it color. Doesn't. Maybe have to do it beforehand. Yeah, you probably have to do it not mid-game, because that's annoying for the game to keep track of, because, you know, it's one less thing that they would need to keep track of. Oh! Somebody said, welcome, Daryl. Spiceware! Subscribe! Thank you very much, Daryl! Welcome! Uh, welcome, Spiceware, to subscribers. Uh, black and white removed. Oh, the black and white was removed. Okay, yep. So they're, uh, Trying to get as much code in as possible because I believe they had five bytes, five bytes left after a lot of um, from the original game. I think let's see, can't remember when they had five bytes left, but they did only have five bytes. Uh, difficulty switches affect the size of the paddles, but this is the easy version. Boo! The hard version is even smaller paddles. You don't want that. Are you getting better? You are getting better. I got further, but further, I swear yes. my first game was 333, but that can't be, because I don't think, unless there's a way to get bonus. It might be a way that it's cumulative, and then if you miss one, it kind of starts again. Like, an additive, Yeah, but you know? I... Maybe it was 133. But, I don't know. Yeah. No, it says high 268. Oh, so you didn't get 333. Um, so if you want to keep reading... From trivia. Kaboom. Kaboom was inspired by Avalanche. Cat. Psst, 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 psst. <laughs> the game was programmed in a week back in July of 2007. It yeah, was this was done in a week. I was originally, I was originally porting this over as a game to be possibly included on a flashback. Not sure which version. Ah. But the deal with Atari fell through. I have a version with 1977-2007 Atari copyright that was to be used. An Easter egg was to display at 2007 Champ Games. 
Oh, it was to display copyright 2007 champion. Mm. In the arcade game, the paddles get smaller when you reach the end of the level. This was removed from this version since it made the game too difficult. Yeah, the arcade hard. game is black and white but supports color through overlays. My original implementation mimicked the overlay color bands, but I changed it to distinct colors per rock type. Mm. The large oh, rock see. graphic in the arcade is asymmetrical. However, the large rock in the 2600 version is round. I originally had the arcade graphic, but decided to make it round, although I can't remember why. It's too hard. Oh. There is a hack of Avalanche that has more arcade-like graphics for the rocks. Future plans! I have spoken with Al, not AI. When I see <laughs> that, I, I AI. see AI. He might be a robot, Al Yoruso. When I sp when I have spoken ah. with AI numerous times over the years about releasing Avalanche on cart. 415! Yep. Sorry. I have, not when, oh, but I have. I have. Okay. We are still planning on releasing it sometime in the near future. The this plan year, is to, I think. The plan is to release it using the Atari text label design, oh. circa 1978-79, trifold cool. manual with box. The release will most likely be in a limited run to avoid any possible long-term mm. legal issues with Atari. Right. Yeah. Additional features may be put into the game, but it will stay at 4K, and the intention is to keep it in the spirit of games that were released at the time this game would have been released, if it was programmed back in the late 70s. Mm. Additional features may include two players simultaneous, one Ooh. player controls the even paddles, the other controls the odd paddles, invisible rocks, zigzag rocks, except invisible rocks. Please, this is hard enough. I mean, ah! as long as you could see them at the top, I suppose, but uh, that would be that'd just... That'd be so brutal. That'd be for, like, super advanced people. That'd like, be for... Look at this, I couldn't keep track of two, let alone, like, even one. If one of these became vis invisible... Oh, those rocks, those are, those are just two bricks, they're not even rocks. Ah! You've reached the, uh, the ancient lair of the... This Mongolian, uh, uh, civilization... Uh, and this is their. Uh, <laughs> I'm almost done. Their almost. Capital city, city is palace uh, falling apart in the avalanche. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, uh oh. Seriously? No, not seriously. But you almost made it to the end. Oh, almost. And then there's a, like a links and stuff. I'm not going to say that. No, no, no. So go back up, and then go to his new. Almost. Ugh! Boo! His boo! You were not almost. You. You are very far from finishing this level. What are they complaining about? <laughs> I think the frame rate over... I think it's the frame rate over the video. What? Oh, jittering? I blame the six, <laughs> zero page home brew sixer again. Damn you. <laughs> no, everything's fine. <laughs> <laughs> what is the problem okay. here? Uh, here, I'll play smooth. and you look at that. The gameplay is very smooth. Like, I don't find any... There's a... There's a, really, there's a little bit of You jitter. watch there. There's, there's there is jitter. some jitter. There's yeah, some there's jitter, jitter. But it's so... It doesn't really affect gameplay. It's my paddles. It's my paddles. They're not perfect. They're really close to perfect, but... The jitter's so minor. It's like stutter, almost. It's, it's nothing. Oh, I've been screwed by the paddle disappearing away from the rocks before. That that does affect the game. Like, you're about to get a rock, and it goes downward. Yeah. And you're like, what? What? Okay, so let's get back to the updates since 2007. Yeah. <laughs> um, he's he added the Atari splash screen start with startup tune. Oh, Atari Box. This supports Atari. Oh, my big score is gone forever. I have to plug in the Atari Vox. Oh, your big score is gone forever, Muffin. And you're dying. And my big score is never going to arrive. <laughs> Updated the copyright to 2019. Added the proper Champ Games logo. Removed the Atari copyright. Updated the Avalanche logo on the title screen. Added three skill levels. Novice, Standard, and Advanced. Oh. No! So we should plug in the Atari Vox after you die. Um, and so that we can get some high scores <laughs> on the and the beginner and see what the beginner is about. Oh, I made it to yellow. That's pretty good. That was uh, That's that your was best new. score. Yeah. Plug That's it al in. I almost got to the score that I thought that I had got originally. Hey, uh, gameplay is actually very smooth. It is, yes. There's a baby version if you find it too hard. 
Well, I almost finished the first, the first uh, level. Let's plug in the entire box. There, you can see it's plugged in now. Uh, let's see if this works. Usually, it doesn't work when I um, use the menu. Come on. Oh, there we go. Don't. Are you pressing things? I no. did. Okay, you do it then. Press button. No, you're on it. There, on the 405. <laughs> there, press button. There you go. Avalanche. And then the 0218. That one? Yeah. There you go. You're not going to hear the Atari Vox? Press it. There's a certain amount of booing in his. I press A? There we go. Or B? No, no, no. no it's okay. Did it say Atari Box? Oh, I wasn't looking. <laughs> Did anybody see Atari Box? Oh, now the phone's ringing. Oh, no, it's so many things. Okay. Okay, did anybody see Atari Box? Oh, my God. Everything's going crazy. Okay, let's just start it again. Hush it. <laughs> okay, now go to go to there. Yeah. No, there. Junk. No. Oh, now that's not working. Do as I say, machine. Oh my god. Uh oh. Daddy's mad. Yep. It's best to stay out there, pencil. <laughs> you might get caught in the crossfire. Okay, we're gonna watch it. There we go. Save key found. Save yeah. key was detected. Oh, you're too slow. <laughs> too slow to tell us. Okay, I, we're back. We weren't too slow. We just weren't looking. We weren't looking. <laughs> okay. Save key noted. We're good now. So it's your turn. Let's play standard and get the scores on standard. And you can continue on talking. Oh. Giving the information. I give information. Save. Press select to change skill level and number of players. Press select to change level, of sk <laughs> change skill level and number of players. One to two. Oh, the button pauses. Cool. Paddles displayed on the screen to show players and their colors. Left, right difficulty set the starting size of the paddle for each player. Uh, visibly displayed on the title screen with the size of the paddles. A equals small, B equals large. Slight modifications to the score, the score font. Modified the game over, modified the game over, and half one two player font and color. Now white was blue. Also, game over will flash for the arcade as per the arcade. See, so yeah, instead of looking at the camera, I'm looking at the people which are on the chat screen. <laughs> yeah, don't. Yeah, I know. They can't see you there. Damn it! Oh, it's a thing. It's because it I care. <laughs> I have to remember that that's you, not that. That's not just your names. Yeah, they can't see back through the screen. Mm -hmm. Do 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 do. Bottom bar color matches the current skill level. Green equals novice. Yellow equals standard. Red equals advanced. Player two paddle is now orange. Was green. Okay. Rock graphics have been modified to be more arcade-like. Removed color black and white option. The arcade was never black and white. It always had a color overlay. Okay. Created a PAL 60 version. Yay. Not included below. <laughs> Functional changes. Remove joystick support. The game was not fun with the joystick, so we use that saved ROM for other features. Added save key support. This will save the top score for each skill level displayed in the proper skill color on the top of the title page. 498. It also will save the last number of players in skill level. Hold down the reset on startup to reset all scores. Okay. Press select to cycle through the skill levels and number of players on the title screen. Press paddle button or reset to start. Pressing turn. Oh. Now you have to get a high score in standard. I got a pretty good one, actually. Got it up to near where I was before. Probably not quite as much. Uh, pressing reset will cycle through up to four types of sound effects, similar to Super Breakout. 
Oh, very cool. A short tune is played at the start so the player can hear what type of sound effects will be used. The player can pause during the game by pressing the paddle button. Press it again to continue. I love these little add-ons like pausing the game. That it's like, why not? Why not put it in? In case you're doing like super awesome, but the phone rings or the do doorbell rings. Doorbell rings? Doorbell goes? Doorbell chimes. That's it. Uh, if someone yells, doorbell! Doorbell. Oh, catch him at the top. Don't you tell me. <laughs> you read. It's your turn to read. It's my turn to <laughs> screw up the game play. <laughs> Added the correct paddle size progression. If you try to catch them on the top, that's when you get screwed by the level change. Uh, that's true. And it has it multiple times caught me. Of course, more times I've been caught by trying to catch it on the bottom. <laughs> uh, Thrust26 is the master at optimization. My games wouldn't be nearly as good without his help. Yes, hefty bite crunching, Thrust says. He has a lot in 4K. Like This is quite a good game for 4K. Very, very nice. Uh... Paddles for the first two rows are 16, 12 for the second two, 8 for the uh, last two rows. He did about the same, hey? 300 and something? Yeah, I didn't get you to didn't yellow, get to last one. but I was only a couple of You could do it. That, so. One more game. Uh, in the B position, the paddle size is 12, 10, and 8. Added the correct number of paddle progressions during a level as per the part arcade. For the standard, level 1 is a 4 plus start. With six three two and one paddle for novice six five four and three for advanced five two one one. Oh, I see. Okay, so it's just paddle progressions that are changing, not speed. The speed is going up. Uh, I mean, for the easier and harder level. Oh, I see. I think it's just paddles. Well, we'll find out. Max three rocks on. Oh, the rocks go s not slower, but less of them at a time. Three for novice, four for standard, five for advanced. Rock delay, delay between rocks being dropped, changed to match the arcade. No, uh, novice drop delay is slower, advanced is faster. Drop delay. Between more one, between more dropping out. Okay, that kind of goes hand in hand with how many rocks are on the screen at a time. Uh, rock speed starts lower for novice, faster for advanced. Rock speed increases. Each time two rows are cleared. You did worse. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Thought I'd point that out. I, I like how you can uh, multitask between watching my failure and reading the thing. It's important to see it. Uh, so we're going we're gonna to play novice one player. Oh. And this see is what the difference is. This just leads to more humiliation. And then we'll play two player after I'm finished reading all this out. And see how that plays. Because it sounds like it's both on the screen at the same time. That's so why I can help you. I'm no help. <laughs> uh, added a demo mode that will start after 16 seconds have passed uh, on the title screen. If the game was previously played, the game will display game over screen after the demo to show the previous score before returning to the title screen. Uh, number of misses to start with are 5, 4, and 3 for novice, standard, and advanced, respectively. Oh, wow. So you get more uh, more lives as well. So there's quite a big difference between the novice and advanced in many ways. Oh yeah. The speed, the number of rocks, the number of lives, the number of paddles, like a lot, quite a lot. Um, first bonus is awarded at 250 points, 450, 750. So we, we made it to the 250. What is the bonus? You get an extra life? I guess. We're about to find out. It's 250. Yeah, extra life. Okay. That's good. That's at a pretty good level, 250. You never made it to the second one at 450. Uh, additional I feel bonus. I like the paddle is thinner now. Thinner? Yeah, and like easier? No, like right now. At oh, this it is level. thinner. Yeah, it gets thinner as the level goes up. Oh. <clears throat> you can do it. You can beat the level. I believe in you. One of us does that. One like of the, us is a liar, anyways. The hissing, the slowly increasing hissing in the background is so weird. It just intensifies the game. In your last row. Oh, 
I'll still have four <clears> lives. <throat> Additional bonus awarded at a thousand plus from the previous bonus. Twelve fifty for novice, fourteen fifty for standard, seventeen fifty for expert. Oh. I thought I'd missed that last one and I stopped playing. <laughs> <laughs> this just gave up. Yeah, I died. Oh, I didn't die. <laughs> Rolling score 999 displays special <clears throat> message and ends game for current player. So there's an end to this game at 9999. Good luck on that. Uh, do you get, can you get more points or do you get the exact same points every time you play for how uh, far you get? It doesn't say you get more or less. I think it's just straight. The rocks are worth what they're worth. There's no <laughs> multiplier based on lives or anything. It doesn't say any of that. Uh, end of the game. End of game. Game over screen alternates between scores if two player, uh, and displays high plus score if new high score has been reached. Oh, very cool. Best of all, we managed to fit this all in 4K. Thanks, James. John. Uh, P.S. We're still accepting final suggestions if you have any, especially bug fixes. If you get a chance to play. Uh, right now, we have only five bytes left. Five bytes. You can barely do a command in five bytes. Oh my god, I don't know what you're going to do in five bytes. <laughs> uh, uh, so likely it'll only be bug fixes or modifications to existing functions. Not sure what we could do with five bytes, he says. Yeah, five bytes, you'd have to like get rid of something to do something. Really. I haven't seen any bugs. Like nothing's, nothing's been jumping out like, oh my god, it went crazy or anything. It's all been like really smooth. Just destroying my high score. No, I'm not. You don't have a high score. <laughs> that is true. Not in, uh, not in easy mode. Mm -hmm. Our turn. It's two player. Oh, I think you have one more. <coughs> one more life. You're almost at an extra my man. Let's see about that. How much do you get? Five, 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 five points. Five points each for these ones. Oh, so close. What did you need for an extra man? Uh, a thousand two fifty. Oh yeah, I was not close to that. So now we're gonna play <laughs> a two player. <coughs> see how that works. Two-player novice? No. Uh, standard. We'll play two-player standard. Sure. Okay. Let's do two-player standard. And you're orange. Uh, yes. Oh, it's not... Is it alternating? I thought it was both at the same time. I don't know. Oh, well. Okay. It doesn't seem to be... I think that was a maybe-to-do thing. With five bites? Cool. <laughs> yeah, with five bites. I don't think that's going to happen, because you need a lot of things to read even one paddle. You have to be constantly reading it, if, I, if I'm correct. Like every, every line, every second line, you have to go, what's the paddle doing? What's the paddle doing? Because you can't just read it once. It's too... Your turn. There's too much going on. I want to get a turn for you. Oh! Oh my god! Well, you can press the button to pause, remember? Oh, right. There we go. I was playing with one hand, which is all you need. Oh, mine's jittery. jittery. That's a bit better. Usually that helps if you go like this. I wonder if I can do that. Oh, no. <laughs> it kind of works, sweeping the screen, but not well enough. It helps you. You might be able to do it Ooh, in the jittery. portion of the game in which you don't need tricks. Yeah. Complete. But it won't help you in the portion of the game where you need the size. Yeah, the resolution and frame rate would have to be much higher. Because then you could have it in every position on the screen. Oh my god, this is like I'm playing with a handicap. We get the, the super the jitter. Yeah. Oh my god. It might help you because it means it's it's oh, wider maybe. than it was. That's effectively true. wider. It's kinda of covering. And a you've lot got of two. Room. You've got two paddles. Okay, it's going to go to one. Very do they just similar. disappear quicker in the novice version then? They do. They do. Slightly quicker. 
need to clean those paddles. What I'll do while, while Darcy's playing. No, don't clean the clean paddles. It's paddle. an advantage, right? <laughs> if, uh, it might it's like be. A, it's like a machine gun. It's like, like <laughs> I'm shooting all of it these It kind of worked that way. It, it kind of did. But it's a little harder to position. Two-player alternating only. Oh, no, no, no! Oh, John says it's two-player alternating only. Mm. Come on, work those five bites. You can do it. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I didn't even see I was... Oh, it auto-plays. Oh, it does. Ugh. But it auto... It, it, it manually pauses, too, remember? Yeah. I mean, that's a lot to remember. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll be dead too soon. much to remember. Ah, ah. See, I just... I... Oh, mine's a bit better now. A bit better. I'm gonna die, though. Whoa, 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 that was crazy, Jitter. Stop it, paddle, stop it! Stop it! Okay, every once in a while I open up the paddles and clean them, but they just go bad again. They just go bad. They go bad, they go to the dark side. 335. <clears throat> ah! Oh, oh, I guess I got, just barely got an extra life, somehow. Oh, <laughs> high score! All right, good stuff. So awesome, good game. I think I'm better at this than I am at Kaboom. Kaboom is brutal. Um, let's play. I'll play one game of Advanced, just so we make sure that we see, <laughs> we're making a five by everything algorithm. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you better. Yeah, do it. Five by battle. I wonder how you do that. I guess it would just smooth it out or take an average over a certain amount of time. Oh, you do a smooth one. Oh my god. Advanced is not good. <laughs> There's more dropping. You get less paddles. They, get, or they go smaller quicker. Oh my god. It's and just... to make it worse, you don't have any jitter on your paddle to help. <laughs> That's right. I need that jitter back. Ah! Ah! No, don't go to the bottom. Stay on the top. It's the same with Kaboom. You always want to keep it. <sighs> Definitely harder. But not so hard that it's like impossible. It would be good for a really good advanced player. Do one more time, because that was pretty quick. You only get two lives. Oh, that too. <laughs> only two lives. Swish, 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 swish. Because, yeah, it would work the same as Jitter, right? Because if I'm sweeping and I'm getting most it most of the time, I think the Jitter would work that way as well. Because it's even in a smaller smaller spot. If I go like this... No. <laughs> okay, let's play properly. Ah, 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 ah. Ah. Bing, 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 Very bing, hard. Bing. Very hard. It's harder than Kaboom because the rocks follow no pattern. That is true. In Kaboom, they go zoo, 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 like oh. this. The guy goes across. On Avalanche, it's wherever you want. Totally mm. random. Good stuff, John Champo. Excellent. Um, so I believe he's looking to maybe release that this year because it's pretty much done. He's only got five bites to work with. <laughs> so is that the uh, is that the plan? I guess because John's in the chat. Um, yeah, the demo's not very good at playing. <laughs> <laughs> Just fine. Because, um... Oh, we need somebody to do the label. What? My label's not good enough? Look at that. <laughs> it's a screenshot of the game. You don't like mine? No, it's not good. We need, like, some guy on a ledge and rocks are falling. He's like, ah! I guess you have to have something, like... You could use a trash can lid <laughs> to protect himself. And he's cowering under that, or a shield. Like he's like in a, a fantasy world where uh, he's got like a shield and he's cowering on a ledge and these rocks are coming at him. And he's, Do he's standing on top of someone else with a shield who's standing on top of someone else with a shield. That's right, yeah. Built up. <laughs> and around them, at the base, you can see dead shield holders lying there because they got knocked off the stack. Uh, yeah, a boulder right next to them going... Ugh. 
You're hired, James. Now, if I only could draw. I'm only a conceptual artist. I just come up with a concept. Then I pass it to the actual artist. <laughs> Al needs to finish the AA forum upgrade first, then we'll announce the label manual contest. Oh, okay. Yeah, he said he was going to be doing a uh, forum upgrade fairly soon, which will help with uh, voting as well for 2019 Atari Awards because we had to get somebody to make a custom uh, voting um, plug-in for the forums to do the 2018 Atari Awards. Um, and it just barely, barely worked. Okay, so it's time for the next game, which I believe is a joystick game. Let's see, which is the next one? Yeah, zero page, homebrew, up. Yeah, okay. So, plug in the joystick. You could hold down the middle button. Now, was that long enough? Maybe. It's sorting itself out, sorting its video mode out. There we go. Did it work? Yep. Okay. So we're going to up plus three votes each night next each time next, please. Three votes. Yeah. Uh, does this Megafire mean it's Megafire on? That means it's on. It always flashes. Ignore those. They're terrible. Why is it? It always flashes? And why have I never noticed it flashes before? <laughs> I don't know. Wait, wait. What? Wait. Wait, what? People can hear it, but not see it. Oh, there well, we go. It's not about me waiting, it's about you <laughs> getting on it. Get on it. So, this yeah. is a custom version of Up Plus by Jason Santucci, aka Jason Shellhorn, aka The Loon, aka Gemini Tronic. He has too many names that he's used over the years. Um, and he made this custom version. I believe the only customization is the um, the title screen. But it is very say, pretty. Oh, it is very nice, very colorful. has zero page homebrew, and I thank him very much for that because it looks awesome. Um, the first build was in February 14th, 2016, and this particular build is February 22nd. Are you gonna cry? Wait, if I don't, nope. if I press the button, go for it. We've played a game uh -oh. like this similar. We played the up. Uh, we've played up before. I don't know is... what I'm doing. No, don't tell me. Okay. I'm just saying. I actually want you to try and figure out what the hell is going on. Oh, I see. Because this is a very strange, different kind of backwards game. Oh, I got blowed up. I figured it out though. It didn't the, the work razor for blade Thomas. He could see me. the results. Oh, yeah, yeah. You could see the results. Yes. Oh, bye, John. Back to work. Thanks. Thanks for the game. It's super, super awesome. Looking forward to its release on cartridge. Yeah, the, the results, that's the, the forum um, voting. We got one that didn't show results immediately. Oh. That's what we wanted to do, because obviously if you're doing an award show and you find out who's winning before the award show, there's not much reason to watch the award show unless you're watching it for our shining personalities. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna give oh, you a hint. No. no, I know what I'm supposed to do. Not I'm gonna wait till the hole is You have to get, get that the thing hole. too, that just died. That round to... thing that's coming, you that is your helper. It. So oh. you wanna get that too. Well, that explains why he's dying. Why do I get, get points it. when he dies? Get it. Yeah, well, I can't until there you go. it's safe. Don't! Uh, don't! 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 Tell me what to do. <laughs> uh, this game is uh, 4K. And this guy's made a billion oh, games. I'm going to read out some of them. Acid 2, Your Face is Goo. Bla Bacon Blast, Balloon Girl, Bigfoot, Family Search, Pet Rock, Mackie Man, RVG Blast, Space Foxes. Uh, the Walking Dead, Up a Creek, and there's like 20 more games. He's quite prolific. Um, message from Jason. Up Plus was supposed to be the unlimited run of Up. There are some minor graphical differences. Some small gameplay tweaks that I don't remember. <laughs> In any case, see, since y'all seem curious about playing the Plus version, here's the ROM specifically for Zero Page Homebrew. Thanks again for the wonderful playthroughs, also keeping up with my nicknames. Best regards, Jason. Uh, and from the forums, this is what he said when he posted this. 
due to the request for for more up because I I'm guessing up was a limited re run release um, I decided to make a new edition it has enough differences to be unique from the original run but not enough to significantly affect gameplay goes for $29.95 USD. International buyers should use the ask a question button to work out details for shipping elsewhere. This game is not available anymore, um, so you can't buy it. You can download it, I believe. Uh, not this version, not the zero page homebrew version, but the regular Up Plus game. So if you like it, yay! Is that the first time? Or did yeah. you miss it? Awesome. Apparently you get a lot of points for that. So I went from oh, no yeah. points to like 500. Oh, wow. Uh, it gives you a little bit of points for getting that little I know, damage. but I went from, like, sad amounts to <laughs> that. So this is like you're an enemy in the game Breakout. Because usually in this type of game, whoa, you're the bottom paddle, right? Yeah, and yeah. you're trying to def oh, bounce the ball up and break the bricks out. But in this game, you're kind of part of the game. Get through it. You can do it. Get through it. <laughs> Seems like I actually can't. <laughs> Hard to tell what it controls. Oh, sorry. Darcy is controlling the rocket ship. Right. Moving around the rocket ship, yes. Yeah, sorry. that It is confusing because it is kind of a twisted backwards. My turn! Because I've read out everything. It's not much to it. Get it! And when you get that round thing, or the exclamation mark, or whatever that is, um, it breaks away some of the bricks, a couple of the bricks to help you. I like the way this game looks and feel, like it's cool. I like it, it. Yeah, it's got, it uses the, the flashing kind of to good effect. It, it, it makes it look really different. Kind of like some of the, some of the bricks are see-through. Come on, come on, break some bricks there. Right in front of me. No, not that one. Ah! Well, what does that thing do? <clears throat> oh, when you grab uh, it, it kills bricks that are near it? Uh, I don't know about near it, but it does. I think it just randomly kills. Oh, I didn't get that. What? So I didn't it. I believe you. Yeah, yeah. You can escape now. Uh, out the other side. Oh, oh, oh right oh, there. Oh, oh, almost. Almost. I'll have to wait In a second. Come on. Okay. <laughs> it's kind of pushing me back. Because whenever you run into a brick, it pushes you back to the back of the brick. No, oh, I don't think I can make it through there. I don't know. Let's try again. Right there. I think I'm... If you can make it, it's there. Yeah. Yay! Just barely, though. <clears throat> the game is kind of glitchy, but it kind of works because it's glitchy. Which part is glitchy? <clears throat> oh, you can already escape. Oh. I don't know. Just everything's kind of... Jiggly you. and weird and... Oh, wow, yeah, that woo! was a huge hole. <clears throat> I guess it drives <laughs> giant chunks into that. Uh... Oh, uh, Thrust says, I guess that explains why the paddle never misses. Yeah. <laughs> and is perfectly smooth and just follows the ball all the time, yeah. But it's kind of a cool concept that it inverts a, a kind of no known, well-known game on its head and puts you in the middle of it as just part of the game and you have to avoid what you used to be doing yeah <clears throat> yeah it's really cool mm -hmm. and it's really colorful too which is which is nice uh, nice nice kind of breakout clone you can escape up the other side Ooh. can't you uh, and there's lasers too Maybe which not. come out of nowhere uh, 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 yeah get you, there. you can now. oh yeah definitely now ah Ah! Come on. Come on. Oh! Shot. That's it. You didn't beat my score. Uh, I'm not sure. I can't remember. I thought it was a thousand, <laughs> but I might be remembering something else. Maybe uh, was... Where's Arena Foot? He's our scorekeeper. <laughs> Anybody want to pick up the slack? I got 981. Put J981. <laughs> do I have to do it? Oh, I yes. can't. Oh, it's too far. Oh, I'm not going to get it. Just oh, thank you, Ground Trooper. Excellent. And if ever any, anybody remembers what Darcy's is, you can put that in too, but we don't know. We don't know. Let's see if I have any info from the other game, from the original Up. Because we did play uh, Up before. Oh. Uh, we 
played it. Oh my. Oh my. When did we play it? Nope. Oh uh, no. no. Just because this guy makes so many games, his na name is coming up all the time. <clears throat> no. No, I died. I died. That's not how you do it. <laughs> That's not how you do it at all. No. Anybody remember the date we played this? No! No! Oh! Oh no, I didn't find it. Almost found it. Up! Found it! Okay. Escape from the space barrier by thrusting upwards. Avoid the plasma ball and laser blast from the enemy UFOs. Obtain the energy pods. So that's an energy pod. So 221. Woo. Oh, 300 points. 300 and something points. The round objects with an exclamation mark to blast I think I got openings. lives, too. Uh, you, oh, you did get an extra life. So and I might have gotten two, because I thought I was down to one, and I just died. Oh, so that's quite a bonus. Oh, oh no, no, no! If a plasma ball strikes an energy pod, then the space ball rebuilds. Oh, so you want to keep the, the ball... How come you can not make it through? Oh, risky. What? Risky. My turn. No, it wasn't risky. It was frustration and then... No, 981 is the top score. Yeah, so you Did must I have gotten it? it. That was yours then. I was wrong. If a plasma ball strikes... Let's see what I can do here. Oh, not like that. Three points. Good score. If a plasma ball strikes an energy pod, then the space wall rebuilds. So you want to keep it away from... Yeah. Points are awarded when the plasma ball hits the space wall or the player exits the far north. Set either difficulty switch to pro for a slightly more challenging game. Press oh. fire to start the game or thrust upwards. We haven't tried pro. We'll do pro after this. Steer left or right with the joysticks. Joystick. Uh, stick. Singular. Uh, one joystick. Whoa, the Loon whoa, asserts that whoa. retro development represents a distinct art form retaining their creativity, enduring gameplay, and individual empowerment of computing's past. As such, he focuses on using tools accessible to novice programmers, low resolution text graphics, and personally scored music. Is this a music. review of the game? I don't know. It sounds Everything? like a review of the game. It must be. It was in brackets. You're the one that <laughs> put it there. Huh? That was a long time ago. I that's not for this. This is when we played up. The original game. Mm. I wanted to get more inf information. Oh, I see. Oh, I can... Ah! 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 Woo! Hooray! Ah! You can read... You can read the review. I did. Oh, that's it? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you slowly sink down when you don't press the button. Woo! -hoo! 809. You know, there's less jittery vibration on the... Oh, it goes back and forth. Yeah. On the YouTube uh, final stream, it's perfect. It's exactly what we see. Um, so what it's displaying there is not what it's recording. Yeah. That's just like, I don't have enough processing power to display it perfectly. Yeah. 60 frames a second. But it is recording it. That's so you can't escape 60. up the oh, far side. Thank you. Thank you. And I'll get that up. Oh. But not until it comes back around. Just push against the wall. And I'm pretty protected you might get now. Lasered. I'm really protected. Uh, should I get it? No, I'll get pushed. Come on, come on, come on. Also, you can end up going down. If I go down and hit that, I'll never back get back in. That's what I mean. Is that you can accidentally go down, you, or you can go through backwards through those things, or at least it seems that you could. The wall, no. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah, so you can come over. backwards through them. Yes. Yeah. 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 That's no problem. That's all I meant to say. Oh, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's the lasers that get me. Because they come. You don't know where they're gonna come. I think it's because I stay at the bottom yeah. instead of staying at the top. It's a bad idea because you don't have enough reaction time. There's oh, no, you can get out now. There's no reason to... Um... Ah. Whoa. Uh, there's no reason... 1701. Oh, <laughs> I still have three lives. Or more. Maybe you get three when you start a new level. Oh, 
That seems a bit too generous. But it also would uh, explain why when I got to a new level, I had three lives that when does, I had lost two of them. That would. It's like Breakout and Yar's Revenge had a baby. <laughs> yeah, very, very similar. Because there is... There's the same kind of element. Your ship, there is an enemy, which is the paddle at the bottom. Mm -hmm. There is a kind of ball that follows you around in Yard's Revenge. This one's bouncing. And then there's also a laser that comes out. Or the spinning qu quotile in Yard's Revenge, it's called. Quotile. So it has a lot of... And you're... Like, if I was eating away at it... Then it would be like really like Yard's Revenge if my ship was like hitting those things and eating them as it hit them. Like nom 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 nom. It would be very much like Yard's Revenge. So we'll find out soon if we get three lives. Ah. Just need more, more bricks broken. And it's random. It's not, doesn't. It would be nice if it was the bricks near you, but it's not. It's not. It's just well, then it would suck because the you would only get it where that thing is. Mm, and yeah. it doesn't... It kind of repeats in the same area sometimes, and you can't control that either. So it might as well just be... So random one randomness way. versus another randomness, really. Oh, I think I can get up that way. Although it would be easier to, no. to understand. Ah. It would be easier to, like, get it that that's what was happening. Yes. Yeah. You can escape up there. Uh, I can try, but I think two is too... It is, yeah, two might not be enough, I don't know. But you could try. Let me try. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah you, you can. Go. If you get it's it perfectly. Be right in the center. Let me get that before it builds. Oh, and off we go! Decimating! Decimating the score. And it goes up to three again, and I was down to one. Yeah. Yeah. Almost. You can almost escape right through here. Except you can't because there's a solid wall on the way. <laughs> but if I ran, if it randomly breaks. But if you go wall, over there now, you might be able to. Oh, whoa, oh yeah, oh, break it all, get it, get it. Kill your dude. Destroy, destroy oh, that area. Stuff. Whoa, what? How can I, I start don't quite those? understand how the the oh. brick breaks things because it. It hits things without breaking them sometimes. I guess if it hits them on the side, it doesn't do diddly nor uh, squat. It has to hit the solid part, maybe? Yeah, maybe that's it. Oh, that's it. 2384. Yep. 2384J. Okay, we're going to play the advanced version. Yeah, we are. And what was it? The advanced version going to play us. <laughs> Most likely. How do you either difficulty switch to pro for slightly more? The okay, go for it. Ooh. Melts. So, what is different? The lasers faster? The lasers seem faster. Maybe not. No! <laughs> what do you think is more pro about this? Harder. I don't know. The bout this ball faster? Laser seems faster, but. The laser shoots from where. Does the laser shoot from where you are? Oh, oh, it does. Does it? So far, it seems to be. Yeah. But didn't it do that before? Or did I don't it do think that before? It did. I, I didn't know I, how it did it before. I, I just think it was knew random. that it would come and try to get me. That makes more sense. Yeah, you seem to be trying to actively avoid the laser constantly. Ah! <laughs> and let's go back to the original and see. Laser, because I was pretty sure the laser was red. Oh, I, that wasn't. No, that was because I went. Yeah, yeah. look, the laser's over there. Yeah. Okay, let's go back again. Yeah, it went where I was. Yeah, I didn't die from it. So you can't stay at the bottom now. Yeah, like you will die almost instantly. Yeah, that is that is a lot more of a challenge. That's for sure, because you have to keep moving. And if you're, like, trying to get through that little opening and you stay there, it's not happening. Yeah. <clears throat> awesome. So, that's fun and unique kind of game. That what? The, that that was not my one. best score. Hold <laughs> on, the middle? Uh, yes. Yeah, that's not a real score. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're making you look bad. <laughs> well, it's... 
making me look bad. They're just showing the reality. So we're uh, playing This Planet Sucks. <laughs> and the game is D is the happy face. There. That's a better score. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Press anything. Okay. There we go. Oh, those those Cute. people don't look too like it sucks. They look pretty happy. Oh, they're like, get Whee! me. Oh. It's so fun here. Yeah, we're having so much fun. <laughs> or ah! Oh, he's on is. fire. Get us out of here. Okay, so this game is made by. I'm on the wrong instruction. So I was looking at old notes for up. This is by Greg Troutman. And this is kind of interesting because. No. This is the sixth ever homebrew ever made. Uh, oh, I, I can't touch the platform either. Very. Oh, you can. No, I hit the platform. I died. You hit it too hard. Just slowly ease down, land softly without breaking the legs on your little robot, dude. Okay. This was the sixth ever homebrew that was made for the Atari 2600. It was made after Sound X with Dazzle Demo. And you killed him. What? Uh, <laughs> what am I supposed to do? These people should not be so soft. <laughs> people are squishy. And you killed them. Oh, so I have to land and then they run over to it. Yes. Oh, yeah. You killed two guys, so... Hey, they are pixel people. They don't <laughs> even count. Uh, the second game ever made was Ed Triss 2600. Uh, third game ever made was Okie Doki. Oh, the, I, I, <laughs> like, stop running around is what, all I gotta say. It's like, do you want to like, die? Then I guess, uh, you, wish granted. It's his so choice. where do I go now? Back up to the top? Yeah. With nobody? <laughs> well, you didn't pick up anybody. And I guess dead bodies are not your objective to pull them aboard. And You'd think they would fire a, me. Have a dead body. Maybe you're going to get your pink slip once you get back up there. But game yeah. over, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah, is that a bug? A, and it's old school. No, it's game over. And it's old school, so button doesn't reset the game. Oh. <clears throat> and the fifth game ever made for the Atari was Oystron. Oystron? I have Oystron here, but it's Oystron. Um, <clears throat> I think. <clears throat> and this was the sixth game ever made. Smash. I don't need your sound effects. The game <laughs> comes with plenty, sir. Plenty. <clears throat> S. Ramirez says, I have this. Always wanted a lunar rescue type game. This one's cool. I, it reminds me of uh, Space Taxi as well. Um, which is also landing on platforms and picking up people. Except they want a taxi ride, not rescue off a planet. Okay, no, this guy's begging to die. Like, <laughs> like he, he stopped in the middle and, and danced around underneath me. Like... <laughs> Yeah, they, they did, like they deserve to die. It's just that's <laughs> all I'm saying is that these, they these do. people they're they don't not really cooperating. They're not really helping. They're very mindless. They're... I mean, like tell me that it, it doesn't Ooh, seem just to barely and it's soft enough. Oh now there's Oh no. UFOs. Oh no. What? <laughs> you went right into it. <laughs> I guess that's that's that. Your turn. Okay. <laughs> uh, this is that was info from Brian Mathern's homebrew list. Uh, another piece of info before I start playing was called Rescue. The name was changed to This Planet Sucks. Both released by Hoser Video Games in 1998, and this is Greg Troutman's first game for the Atari, Atari 2600. And it was based on the Taito arcade game Lunar Rescue, and was first released under the name Rescue. I do like the controls. So here you go. There. From where? Um, from the Atari uh, other games he's made, Dark Mage and Plant This Planet Sucks. There oh. you go. From the Atari Age store page. From the Atari Age store ah. page. Oh, what happened? Did you kill somebody? Oh, you killed him! Why did you kill him? <laughs> Don't murder him! He's foolish. Oh, when, when, when you do it, it's because they're foolish. When I do it, it's just... Terrible generic stuff. condemnation. <laughs> I got one. Yay. Let's see if this guy no, wants, to die. He wants to die. <laughs> it is harder because that's a smaller platform. Obviously, the one on the right is the hardest. Yeah. Because it's... They go up so slowly. Oh, come on. Oh, that's exciting. 
Very hard. Yeah, it's pretty uh, hard because because of the inco- uncooperative dudes you're rescuing. Yeah, they're definitely not happy. Or yeah. they're all high. I don't even know why you're <laughs> saving the high people. High on life. <laughs> From the Atari H store page, this Planet Sex is Greg Troutman's God. first game for the Atari 2600. Ah! And it's based on the Taito arcade game Lunar Rescue. You, did Taito? you not read this? Taito? Yes, Taito. <laughs> Maybe Taito. I don't know. It's I don't know. a Japanese name. Tai... Taito. Ta- tai- to, Tato. Tato. Yeah. It's definitely not three syllables. That's not how it works. Your goal in this your goal in this planet sucks Move. is to rescue colonists Move. trapped on the planet's surface while avoiding the asteroid belt between your mothership oh and the Oh my god. He I was hovering above him. And he followed the longest, where and he was go. just standing there below me. Yeah. And I move over and he goes uh, right underneath me. Yeah. Master. Anyway, I got one. So my game's over. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. Uh, a rescue colonist trapped on the planet's surface while avoiding the asteroid belt asteroid. between your mothership and the colonists. In addition to fighting gravity and avoiding the asteroids, care must also be taken not to squash the poor colonists. <laughs> poor colonists. Poor? The idiot colonists you're trying to save. Get out of the way! And to make matters worse, the asteroids turn into enemy ships after rescuing a colonist. Oh, so if you get three, there's three enemy ships? Okay, okay. <gasps> Oh my god, I finally got that guy. Let's see if I can get this guy. Info from archive.org page. Man, it really what sucks. Is what is this? What? You can only get one at a time. What? Really? I'm telling you that that's my suspicion. Uh, I don't know. Get it? Move out of the way, dude. I'm going to squish you if I go up. Oh my god. My timer. Is there a timer? No. There we go. There. Oh, maybe you can. Oh my god, oops. <laughs> I squished him. Because <laughs> I moved. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Um, up, 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 Oh, that was whoa. some... That was some excellent piloting, sir. Excellent piloting. It was. Oh, is that your fuel, then? That must be your fuel, because it didn't count down when I wasn't moving. Okay. Yeah, it is one at a time. But we don't know what happens if you return without one. <laughs> You've killed all, <laughs> all three dudes. Fewer points. Just points. Yeah, it's down at the bottom. Right? Yeah, it shows you've got one. Oh, okay. Okay. Let's get this but we have discovered that they're not uncooperative. They're just in a panic. <laughs> that they are. That I don't dispute. They're not they intentionally are. uncooperative. I don't know. <laughs> they are. Non cooperative, <laughs> maybe not uncooperative, but non cooperative. Yeah, they're not helping, <laughs> they're, not, they're not cooperating, they're not, they're not not helping, but they're not helping. <laughs> and they are not helping. Oh, no, they are unhelpful. They may not be uncooperative, but they are unhelpful. <laughs> oh, yeah, they are. Well, this guy's being pretty good. He's standing in one spot. Learn from that guy, other colonists. Oh, come on. Oh, oh. No. Okay, what was that score? I just accidentally pressed reset. Nobody knows. What? It did reset? Weird. Okay. Did you get him? <laughs> Record time! Nice! That was like in three fuel points? Wow. That's really Well, I good. just dropped to the bottom. <laughs> oh, wow. You go up so slow, like you said. Yeah, really slow. Probably because you have a colonist. Don't go up, don't go up, don't go all the way up get to the ship uh did you read out all the archive.org page no no um get those colonists out of there avoid the asteroid belt on your way down fight gravity don't crash and please do not squash the poor guys you're supposed to be saving they're a bit nervous (laughs) they're a bit dead all of them so you have to all it should make it easier to get back to the top it should you should be faster right well, no, I mean, asteroids, in theory, would be easier to avoid than the... In theory, I say, because Still it looks like I'm going to fail. <laughs> okay, but don't go right to the top. There you go. Now I'm going to... Uh, uh, you'll have to do your best to just avoid them as they scamper about... Is it mad? <laughs> Hap- haphazardly on the platforms below. Does this mean that it's... Uh, 
that I failed because I. Yeah. Well, what's the point of going back to the ship if they're just gonna fail you? <laughs> uh, I don't know. You only got five points. And yes, don't forget that after you pick up a man from the surface, those asteroid boats turn into enemy spacecraft in disguise, and they're very much hell bent on blasting you into the next galaxy. Pew! Okay. Round one. No, no, don't drop. Let's go for the hard guy first. Okay. No. No. Bad. Get out of the way. This is actually kind of easy because the asteroids are not in your face. So you get a little bit more time, but he's not cooperative. And you use a lot of fuel yeah. above him. Yeah, that too. Presumably. you get quite a bit. I did it in uh, 36 fuel. Oh, you only get... That's your total fuel? You, so you don't you get used... refilled. So it doesn't really matter which one you do first. No! Oh my god. <laughs> Why? I was ready to land. I, he almost killed himself again by headbutting the leg of my spaceship. For some reason, they they are also run into the leg of your spaceship. It's not just crushing them; they'll actively kill themselves. Yay! First level. Oh, Mr. Fix has joined us. Welcome. The doors open. The cats aren't bad. Mr. Fix loves the kitties, but no kitties to be seen right now. No. Come on. Okay. 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 Ah, oh, too hard. Damn it. There's still a lot. <laughs> some, some solace. No! Well, you, of course, will die because uh, <laughs> these are... Um... He's not dead, actually. He's still writhing around in pain. <laughs> so, he... so why couldn't you pick him up? I don't know. I, you think you could take him to the hospital? Half points. You should get half points for squished colonists. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> And if you squish them, you have to land beside them. No, or on top of them, I guess. No, no, no! Why did it reset? There's a bug in this game. Because I had an extra, extra life. If you press the button while in the maybe middle... Maybe the... Uh, they don't... Maybe that's how many... You have three, including the one you're on now. Oh, maybe... Yeah, that makes sense. That's true. I mean... with that one <laughs> yeah you're supposed to avoid smushing them and then you <laughs> yes. land beside them and they charge up and get inside they are not your enemy but even, they are even though they are their like, own worst enemy they, they are yeah. like you do your best and they're the ones who kill themselves yeah. it's not you usually yeah it's never you you're not a murderer <laughs> no <laughs> <laughs> so that's something i guess you don't feel too bad funny to watch you fail <laughs> <laughs> thank you <laughs> It is. Did I? Oh, I, I didn't die yet. Oh. oh. You didn't. No, I did. No, you did. At least you didn't waste any fuel on that round. Yes. Okay. And it's a gamble, too. It's like, oh, you have space? And then you drop, and he's like, no, I'm going to run my head into you. Yeah. Yay. Yes, it is like a complicated cosmic arc. <laughs> it's very true. That's the same thing. You you have a spaceship in Cosmic Arc. Um, those are unwilling people, I believe, in Cosmic Arc. You have a beam, and they you get you suck up the people into your spaceship. It's a really really cool game. Actually. What's the marks on the side of the screen? Those are H moves, which are no 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 no. That's what happens when you do a certain um, oh my God. Um, a certain command mm -hmm. um, in. in 6507, 6502. Um, and it's to reposition, I think it's repositioning, your sprite or your player. You can see there's, see it's where the lettering is right now, mm -hmm. all the lettering. And now you can see it's where all the um, asteroids right. are. So every time it issues that command, it makes a black mark. Now, because this is an early game, he probably didn't know how to do it or think about that. Those don't exist in any Activision games because mm -hmm. they're like, no, 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 we can't have those ugly things. Yeah. So there's ways of covering them up. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
Uh, and and all New Homebrew doesn't, they don't do this as well. They make sure that they uh, program it. Again. Oh my god, I swear I touched him. Just burn his face off. Get out of the way! Because it's easier just to drop down. Oh well, you die. <laughs> Well, there must be something about your position because they don't stand in one spot jumping up and down like that when you're not there. Yeah, I, don't know. I think it's in the harder levels. They move around more. And then when you get closer, they're like, hey, I'm going to kind of hang out right underneath you and make it really hard. And if you move, then they try to get under you too. So I think that's just part of it. I don't think it's even an accident. <laughs> they must think like, oh, this is where... This is where... Am I gonna die now? Is the game over? Because I, cause I did rescue one guy, so maybe that's yeah, yeah, you're okay. As long as I make you rescue one, you get to. Yeah, you only have to get one. Actually, I don't stay. know if you. Yeah, you do have to get one. Because one I at got least. Back, it ended. Hey, Micron Bus. It'd be cool if you had have gravity like Lem, and it does have gravity. It's. It's got a lot of gravity, actually. Your thrusters are not as powerful as the gravity. Well, they are as powerful as the gravity, but they're not. You don't have the same acceleration. They're not OP. Upwards? What's that? They're not overpowered compared to the gravity. No. They're just barely enough to get you up and going. Should be pretty good this game. I'm level 4. Given that those are asteroids, though, I'm not sure why the it's a hazy brown. <laughs> it seems like more like atmosphere. Yeah. Yeah. Bad clouds. Uh, no, no. Uh. No, you know what? Uh. There's no thing at the bottom. So there was a bug. If you had one at the bottom and it restarted. Because there is no... Or you reached the end. Like maybe oh, there's only I three see. rounds or something. Quite possibly. 264. Good. I think we've exhausted this game. It's cool. It's a really good game, yeah. especially for such an early uh, homebrew. Yeah, and I like really the people, job. even though I don't like what they do. <laughs> it's good I animation. Like, I like the animation yeah. of them running around. They, it's credible. It's hilarious. They, and, you know so exactly small. what they are. They look good. Yeah, really, really good. Yeah. And the gameplay is a nice balance. Mm -hmm. It's easy enough that you can do it, but also like there's some randomness. There's some. Yeah, it's, it's good. It's a great game. Highly recommended, and this is uh, available at the Atari Age store right now, because <clears throat> it used to be sold under a different uh, company, but now it's uh. now Atari Age offers it, so it is still available. Um, I would I would give it a recommend. Yeah. So now we're going to move on to the last game, which is you too can call the Pixel people uh, idiots and morons <laughs> yes. and deserving of death. Yes. So we're going to try what now? <clears throat> Uh, we're going to play Space Rocks Tournament Edition. I'm just going to get out my Space Rocks Normal Edition right here. Um, this made by Champ Games, John Shampo. But this one, <clears throat> this particular version, was put out... Bye, for Kev. The... Bye, Kev. Have fun at work. Or not. Have a terrible time at work. Not because you want to have a terrible time, because it's terrible. <laughs> uh, this is from 2015. Uh, it was made specifically for the <coughs> sorry uh, 2015 Classic Game Fest in Austin, Texas. Yes, you can if you could do that. And looks like from what uh, my research is, there was only four copies ever made of this game uh, with, um, and it is paddle. Oh yeah. Do you have to switch it? Um, sure. Yeah. And it is a paddle game, I believe, so we might have to switch. I think it uses joystick as well. You can try it with the joystick, but I believe it's paddle. It's, oh, is that, that's not relevant to this. That's just a... Uh... So he made a special screen for it. Mm -hmm. As you can see, Classic Game Fest. It doesn't say 2015. Um, it says Spiceware, start. Now, in the normal Space Rocks... Oh, you can play it with the... Okay. But is there I a way to it... stress? Oh, you know what? No, I don't think yeah. this is a paddle game. So this is kind of Space Rocks, but hard version. Because they used it for a tournament. They didn't want people playing for two hours. They wanted it short, short, short games. And there's also a timer as well. So that you can either die or have a timer. 
And uh, so up is thrust, backwards is shield. And you don't want to use the shield too long because you will die. It will explode. So this, the first build of Space Rocks was, or first build of this, was in 2015, 07, 19, and I believe Space Rocks was 2012. No, it's not two players. The second one's a timer. Oh, but I've got no lives left, or? Uh, in, in one second, you'll have to All right. 20, 2540 so for Darcy. D, D, 2540. <laughs> yeah, we could keep track. Awesome. Awesome game. Nice spice war. Yes, always high quality. Hey James, ever reason any reason to grab an Uno over an Encore card other than support for supercharger games? Uno and Encore are very different. Obviously there's a lot well they're they're very similar, but people can make games just for or Encore and just for Uno. Right now, there is only one, or now two, two games specifically made for the Uno cart. So if you were going for just popularity and compatibility, I would buy an Encore. But they do cost more. Unos are cheaper, but they won't be compatible with everything. I suppose it says uh, Encore's price was reduced. Oh, yes, that's right. How many Encore's price was reduced recently? Um... So pricing wise now, it's not a big deal. Um, both support Supercharger. Uno doesn't support recent games, but it could, yeah. So if everything being what they are, I would buy at this time a Harmony Encore. But in the future, there's gonna be games only for Uno. So if you have unlimited money, buy both. Right now, I would just buy Encore um, just because of compatibilities. Uh, issues right now um in terms of power yes the uno has a bit more power but eh. okay let's see how fast i die in this pretty it, fast the, the the look of it is amazing oh yeah the the amount of stuff on the screen is unbelievable like, uh, i think it waits i think it must wait until it's clear or something because there's no. Sometimes it comes back quick, but other times it takes a while, and it would have been, like, wrong to, <laughs> to return. Yes, yeah. yeah. When there's a lot of... And you can't just press the button and come back. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to get to it, but S. Ramirez, um, the guy in the... Oh, damn it. should press down. In the chat, actually won the um, Space Rocks contest at... Uh, UFO! At the 2015, so he got the top prize, which was a copy of the game, very limited, because there's only four that were ever made. Oh, oh my god! And oh, he got. Yep. And he got also um, a gift certificate to Atari Age. Come on, get that last piece. Now I have to kill him too. Damn it! That's actually a pretty good score. Ninety-five, ninety. Uh, the top score. I do have that recorded because I found it in the forums that S. Ramirez got. I don't have the exact one, but. 23,800 and change, so it's pretty close. So getting 9,000 on the first try is not too bad. I don't have the rules for what happened, like how many tries you could have. Did you just have one try, or could you play for, play for a while and practice? Um, or is it best out of three? Do you remember, S. Ramirez, what it was? Yeah, really good score, 23,800. So right now it's massive. Now be good time, so maybe it does. <laughs> oh. Cheers. <clears throat> okay. Uh, Atari Age is sponsoring two Atari 2600 tournaments during the Classic Game Fest. On Saturday at 4 p.m., you can compete against others using a special tournament edition of Daryl Spice Jr. Space Rocks. If you like the classic arcade games Asteroids and Asteroids Deluxe, you'll love Space Rocks. Prizes will be... 
And until you fire, you're protected as well. Oh. Oh. Uh, prizes will be a signed box copy of Space Rocks with the Space Rocks TE cart. Oh, what was your score? It doesn't matter because it was worse than the other one. <laughs> okay. Yeah, 200 seconds you get to play. And it counts down while, while you're invisible, too, or while you're waiting. So you do only have limited time. Uh, $50 Atari Age store gift certificate, a Space Rocks poster, and a painted Illuminatari aluminum Atari Age sign. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird how often I do better on uh, the first game. <laughs> uh, left difficulty controls a, a timer. So we're on B. It says the timer's off. Right difficulty controls how long. So it's on B, and it says five minutes. I don't think that timer's working right. Oh, we're on time. I see. The timer was on. So how much, how much time did you have? Oh, five minute counter. Okay, so we wanted to be on B. So we're going to play with the exact settings that um, S. Ramirez played. With the timer on five minute time limit. But we had the time limit of the two minute time limit. Oh, so much stuff. Status of the timer will show up on the scroller. If on, the timer will display, display on the right side. The scroller will also show the score of the last game played. Oh, okay. Uh, so, S. Ramirez messaged me about this, which prompted me to put this game in today's show. Sweet, Space Rocks. I won the Space Rocks tournament at the 2015 Classic Game Fest in Austin. That weekend was a lot of fun. First time meeting Al, Eugenio, Eugenio, and Bob Decre Senzo. Below is the picture of my spoils. So you got 1520. Yeah, but it's not, worse than not my better? original one. Oh, okay. I think it's worse. Starplex controller. So there's a controller for this game and other games where it's all buttons, just like Asteroids was. We're left, right. Fire, uh, thrust, shield, shield, yeah. So a good tactic is to just not die. Uh, go after the small rocks rather than making them all small. Yeah, yeah. Can I not? Ah, ah. And to use your shield. Yeah, I. Which I'm not doing. I pulled down. I must be just a split second too late because I've pulled down on the joystick and then I. See that? That's the thing I'm lacking is making sure I protect myself. <laughs> now I can see why I can get a much better score than what I did if you use the shield effectively. Oh yeah, way better. Okay, I can get a pretty decent score. At least over 10,000. I was wondering if your shield was working against those. in the forums have gotten much better than 20, 20 whatever thousand because they've had time to play it. No. But when... 9,000! Not good enough. Oh, is that doable more? No. 9020? No. Do you want to put that in? Nope. Why did he lose 50 seconds too fast? I paid $35 to $90 for Starplex controller. I don't know if I would be better on a controller. I think I'm pretty good with the joystick and having like a mass amount of buttons that you have to switch between would be uh, would be too much. I think. You could use the foot pedal controller. Yeah, you're not safe. The, the shooting doesn't... You're not safe until you shoot. You're safe for a period of time. Yes, till you shoot. Like you could plug in the foot pedal but you, controller. But your your safety runs out even if you don't shoot. And use that for thrust or shield. And that would be good to oh. use for the shield. It's like having a foot pedal. 
But it may be. You're playing again? Oh. Due to suck it. <laughs> Actually, it's good that it waits till it's clear before spawning you. Yes. But it does suck. Um, shield! I, 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 I genuinely pressed the shield. <laughs> Too late. Too late. That does wait. It's really good. It's really smart. Shield! Press the shield. <laughs> <laughs> but you do lose time if you're like. No! No! That's no. something I do actively avoid. Is is yeah, but I I it gets out of control. I'm using a joystick. If it was buttons, then I wouldn't accidentally thrust. But using the joystick, I do. Oh, S. Ramirez posted some pictures from the game fest. Very cool. Oh, too late. Use your shield. I did. No, I didn't. Not in time. Get out of here. It's wasting my time. There's too many small rocks for me to appear. I made my dug my own grave. You can't shoot while you're uh, in shield mode, now, which makes sense. So you, how do you shoot through your own shield? That's what that was in Star Wars too. When they have shields up, they can't shoot, you, right? No, it's not true. It's the, uh, I guess I can punch a small hole in your shield? Like, how do you shoot while your shield is up if your enemy can't shoot? You? How does the shield work? Well, it blocks everything. Well, <laughs> that's your version. But depending on the sci fi or space opera you're watching, um, sometimes it's. Uh, some systems use, like, a, uh, uh, a frequency. So, like in Star oh, Trek, it's like yes. they have a frequency. And that's why they try to figure it out and they have to change the frequency and all this strange stuff. Right. Because if you get the right frequency, you can pass through the shield. Because the shield's flicker. It's a flicker shield. Right? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And, um, Which is smart. That's a really smart way to do it. Well, it's like the only way, I think. It's to like, be able to shoot and have a shield, yeah. which you obviously want to do. Come on. I guess, Give me I guess there's... Back. I guess fields of force are not flickering, but like... Thousand? Did I get uh, extra life? I don't Maybe. know, but you, you did I think get I did. reached ten thousand. Yay! Come on, back! Give me back! Ah. Oh! Ten six hundred! Yay! S. Mar S. S. R Ramirez, can you tell me how many times you got to play the game? at the competition, whether it was three times or you had all day long or whether you had one shot. I think I missed what you said if you did answer me. That's terrible. You got once? One try? Oh my god. Did you get to practice? I guess you got to practice on Space Rocks in general. And, and um, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Because, uh, I think I have it written down. Because you can duplicate this game if you have normal space rocks. I mean, you can download this as well. Um, well, press fire on both joysticks to trigger the credits, credits easter egg. Then while in the credits easter egg, move voice, both joysticks up to trigger the no man's land easter egg. Background will change to red. And then every round will start with 12 large asteroids. But there won't be a timer, he said. So you can duplicate the look of it, but not the timer. So you'd have to have a separate a separate timer. S. Ramirez says, practice twice before the game, scored around 7,000, then around 14,000. Oh, Space Rocks was set up for practice. The term, tournament was one attempt. Yeah, I guess depending on... Yeah, you hold down the shield too long, you that's great. 6080. 
Because if there's too many people entered in a tournament and you give them all like five go five goes, it just takes too long. So Oh well, yeah, there's nothing wrong with one attempt in a tournament situation. Like if yeah. you're playing a, a sports a regular sports tournament. Oh only yeah, one. You only have one chance to beat the team that you're playing, or whatever it is, you know, like it's Yeah. You don't get Sometimes it's passed out three, but usually it's sports. It's, you get one go. Oh, you might have. Yeah, but you only get one chance at each attempt. Even if it's <sighs> best, even if it's a best five out of seven, you still only get one chance at each game. Yeah. There was a comment about the regular asteroids, the arcade game, saying that there is a way to milk points to the UFOs. Like just playing the first level. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. And just killing everything except one asteroid like that. Oh, nice. And then just out. shooting the UFO over and over and but over. But does, does it give you uh, more time? Um, oh, no, not in this. So depending on how much the UFO is worth, it's probably not worth it this situation. Come on. Oh, just bring me back. I'll use my shield. Or not. <laughs> oh no, I didn't do... 8290. Very good. <laughs> 8290. Do you want to play again? I want one more go. Go ahead. Okay. Oh, thank you, Spiceware. Yeah, you can download Spiceware, this version of the game. Ah, oh, terrible! This version of the game in Spiceware's blog. Um, if you want to... Oh my god, can you reset this again? <laughs> if you want to... Oh, I didn't touch it! I oh. thought it gave you enough... I thought it gave you a little bit more time than that. No, it doesn't give you much time at all. That's what I was saying, is that I discovered to my dad that there was, oh. there was no great amount of uh, love from the shield, <laughs> from the auto shield. No, auto shield, which doesn't exist. Oh, you mean when you start? When you start, oh. yeah. This is very, very challenging. The, does the UFO shoot the uh, asteroids, or does it just get killed by the asteroids? It does both. It does. Oh, okay. So it creates chaos. But it can also, like, it acts as I think it destroys asteroids. Yeah, I just saw some. Mm. Oh. I like that it gets blown up by asteroids. <laughs> so do I. So good. <laughs> it's like, no, you're, you're in this with me. You're not avoiding anything. No, you're no special treatment for UFOs. What? In his dying shot, he killed me. 4950, not good enough. <laughs> not good enough. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, too many. Too many at once. Not a big fan of moving around. Mm -hmm. I find it just... It makes it more difficult for oh. me, because I'm oh, moving yeah. too. Oh, yeah, it's and I'm like, like well, now I have to calculate brutal. where I am in relation to where that asteroid is going to be. And look how good it is for the uh, for the UFO. Yeah, not so great. Not so great. What are the max objects here? 52. Um, quite a bit. So it starts off with 12. 12 big asteroids. And those divide up into 2 and then 2 again. Yep, two and then two again. So, twelve um, times four. Forty-eight would be. Plus me, myself, plus the UFO at any given time. That's, that's, a, pretty, that's a pretty big number of objects on the screen. That could be anywhere at any given time. And, oh, I'm 
320. 50 sounds about right. Yeah. Oh, I got you, though. <laughs> I think it's in Renegade Legion, which is a... Uh, there's a role-playing game, and you have a lot of games for it. Yeah. I think that's one where they have flicker shields. Oh, okay. And uh, the different weapons... Some weapons are better against the hull, and some are better against shields. And oh, yeah, yeah. The... the, the they had damage templates, and so like lasers would oh. drive pinholes, but they would go deep into your shields, and then uh, so you blast them with uh, uh, lasers, and then hope to get one of these uh, uh, nuclear rounds or something into one of those spots, and it goes in a bit and then explodes at the bottom, oh. and yeah. never mind. <laughs> no, it's you relevant can... to this, but it's uh, that's what it was. Mm. The flicker shields. Oh no, 88. One more try. And that's it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fine, doesn't matter. <laughs> Keep going. It's kind of good when there's lots of asteroids because the UFO doesn't have much of a chance. <laughs> better this time. Yeah, that time. So if there's too many objects when one should appear, then it skips some. Oh, That's okay. what they're saying. Well, it starts flickering. There's a minor. No, no, like that there can only be 50. Oh, So okay. if there would be more. It just doesn't Or it's like in. a total of... A total of 51 sprites. Yeah. Including two... shield? Uh, no, I didn't have my shield on. Just put it on. Okay. And you can't tell because your ship turns the color of a shield when it dies. <laughs> yes, it does. And, uh, Same animation. So... <laughs> ah, ah. Held it for too long. Yeah. But you would have died if you didn't. So. Yeah. Unless I employed the tactic of... <laughs> Which is a tactic... Is it, is, it, is it a winning tactic to move? Not for me. No, but for other people. Uh, is is moving know. normal in this game? It, I, haven't seen, I haven't watched a lot of Asteroids. Is no. moving the standard? <laughs> no. Oh, or is sitting still the, the standard? I don't know. I'm asking them. Oh, plus shots. Yes, that is true. There's um, the UFO um, bullets and my bullets. Yeah. There's a lot of, a lot of things out there. Wow, that's a different Tiny UFO. Level two UFO. Oh, oh. Well, you got a new high score, so. Yay, that's all I did. Oh, it's in right there. There's more in my phone. Yay, let's kill someone. Oh, God, why, why, why did, why did, oh, I'm moving. <laughs> I don't have time. Don't have time for this. Where am I? Ah! Ain't nobody got time for that. Oh, 16900. That's 990. why I don't move. 16990. And I will retire on that. <laughs> Great score. Excellent game. Excellent, excellent game. Thrust um, uh, does the same as you. It says, uh, 
I use steady. Stay in the center. Yeah. If he has to move, he moves and then tries to get back to the center. That's smart, yeah. Because Which is you, what you were trying. Because you have the most view. Like, if you're off to the center, you don't have as much time when an asteroid comes. You don't have as much reaction time, so it makes, makes sense. Shots are two missiles um, plus a ball flickered at 30, so you could have up to six shots. So he's using the two missiles and the the ball. So that's three objects flickered at 30 because it's 60 hertz. So, so the six. first two are missiles and the third one is the ball? Yeah. So the, is it the first four are missiles <laughs> and then the last two are the ball? Eh, I don't know. He, only he knows. <laughs> Actually, you could analyze it, but I, I don't think it matters too much. And if you looked at it, you could probably see the color change as the the missiles go and the ball actually the the color of the probably the first one is the ball because the ball it shares its color with the play field and i don't think any play field is used with that this mm. play field is very chunky right um i think it was round robin that makes sense rather than putting logic in it just just keep rotating it over and over again but if you if you look at the missiles the missiles share the color with the two players. So if there's a missile beside a rock, it would be the same color as the rock. Yeah, or yeah. The, the asteroid. Or the rock, actually, in this in this case. But the asteroids are not... Uh, the asteroids are not play field. No, no. no they're, too, they're all different colors. They're too detailed. Yeah. And they're... Yeah, too detailed. Because um, play field is four pixels across. Right, right. And those... Maybe when they got big and chunky... Parts of them were four, but yeah, 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 pointless. Yeah. They're probably um, a player. The small ones are a player. The second one's a player. And then the big ones are players doubled. Doubled in size. So a little bit chunkier. But I'd, I'd have to analyze it. So, very good. Oh, let's go back to full screen again. Very yeah, good you said a single shot would be missile zero, missile one, and then ball. Ball. Final frame. Okay, so constantly changing colors, yes. Nice game, spiceware level, hard it is. Yes, that is very hard. Large asteroids are two times players, so I got that right. With line by line shifting so they look smoother than normal. Uh, okay, like... So as, it, as the player, as it draws the next line, it moves over. Yeah, very cool. Um, obviously the regular game of Space Rocks is easier <laughs> than that. That's like on extreme um, because it start it would start off with less um, asteroids for you to gotcha. shoot, um, and this was made specifically to be hard. Uh, it, I mean, but still very it, playable. It, it, yeah, I was just gonna say it was totally very playable. I mean, I as no one needs to be told, I suck, <laughs> and uh, you know, <laughs> I was able to do all right on some of the games. Yeah, yeah. So great uh, round of games again. I usually don't pick terrible games. Sometimes we play them because they're out there and we want to play all the games that are out there. But I have been catching up, you know, so it's going to be a lot of good games I'm picking. Um, Avalanche, lots of fun. Very challenging, though. Super hard. <laughs> um, up Plus, um, very interesting concept where it spins, puts it on its head where you're part of the game and not necessarily the protagonist, maybe. Um uh, great graphics, game, great gameplay for that. This planet sucks. Super fun. Yeah, yeah. Love the concept of rescuing people. Very challenging though, like really, really challenging. And Space Rocks, of course, super hard version of it, but great game. Yeah, yeah, it's really I good. Might want to, I might want to give um, Space Rocks another go in the future, um, because I think we played this fairly early on in the show's history, and um, it's always good to go back and play them again especially after playing a super hard version of it and getting not so bad at it that's cool and obviously top-notch programming as per always by uh, Daryl Spice Jr. Um, and I think he's working on um, his programming language next I don't think there's a game in the works is there Daryl right now um, don't think so um, S. Ramirez says, by the way, James, I have the same Haynes Atari t-shirt. Yeah, I love this one. I actually That's wish there was this book. It would be super handy. 
yeah. for when you're like your Atari's going crazy or it doesn't look right or something. I think that would be super awesome. And you've got one that's Firefly. Yeah, that's right. Right? How to repair the Firefly yeah, yeah, ship. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. <laughs> Which is super cool. Mr. Fix, uh, so Battle Beyond the Stars with the open shield delivery system, is that is that where the shields have to go down for you to shoot? Mm. Oh, Spice says, yes, slowly working on Spice C. We'll be reboot, rebooting Frantic. Oh, yes, gotcha. that's right, Frantic, to use to use it. That's right. So they'll go hand in hand, I guess, the, the new um, development environment. Because <clears throat> he's, he's making Spice C so you can use the arm chip in the harmony cart a lot easier uh, it's just a more approachable way of doing it mm -hmm. um and i think you use you still use assembly but you program or does it encompass both of them anyway probably you still use assembly but use his programming language spice c to program the arm side of things the fast processing and usually the assembly is just draw the screen, draw the screen, draw the screen, draw the screen. Then go to the arm chip, do the calculations, come back, draw the next line. Yeah. Uses C. Oh, so everything. Everything uses C. That's awesome. So it's a single programming environment. That's really, really cool. Oh, the assembly would be pre-written. So it'll probably have plug-in modules for different, um, just like Batari Basic. It would have like a plug-in module for a title screen. It was like, oh, this I want to draw a graphic that is X pixels wide, say like in the Space Rocks one. Let me put that back on the screen. It's like, here's a module for, um, I can't remember what they call it, not modules, but anyway, plugins. It's like, this part of the screen is going to be this many colors and this many pixels wide. And so you just say, oh, push th these graphics to do it there. Um, or a score at the top. Here's pre-written assembly code to do score. And then you just push the info to do it. Right, it's right. much easier. Mo one module for games like Draconian, another for games like Frantic, another for 128 by 200 bitmap games. So they're like pre, it's a, uh, an easier way to, for people to make games, which makes sense. That's... It's a programming environment so there's going to be pre-written things and optimize things like oh i want to divide by five so well in assembly you have to do it a certain way like dividing by two is easy in computer language dividing by five eh, not as easy or dividing by ten not as easy yeah so eventually we'll have an award for best spice c as well <laughs> uh, yes assuming we can continue with the separation probably probably there would be because it lends itself well to making certain games, and it makes also, it makes it easier to make certain games. It's it's it opens a category to be best in, but it also, I mean, you you should perhaps have one that's best uh, in assembly, because otherwise yes. it's a it's a disadvantage to do it in from a certain perspective. Yeah, it's a disadvantage to do it the, the uh, original way. Yeah, in assembly, because that's from scratch. You're pretty mm -hmm. much doing everything yourself. I mean, you can borrow from other people's code if you can yeah, find yeah. it and stuff. Yeah. So there'd be a Batari Basic. It'd be an assembly one and a Spice C one. Or uh, what Thrust is hinting at, that you just don't do any of those categories and you just go the best, and you don't go best <laughs> from this or best from that. Well, I think there would be also that category. Best game overall. You already have that. We have that. But unless, what I'm saying is that you either need to you either need to also include best in assembly mm. or not have any uh, separation at all because otherwise it's yes. like, oh, people who do it the hard way don't get an opportunity to win in their category. Yeah, because that's how it worked this year. Yeah. And that's not necessarily right because maybe a Batari Basic is going to be the best game of the year. And the the, the it, assumption, assumption was yes. the assumption was that the Batari Basic one will be worse. Yes. Yeah. And that's, yes, the, exactly. that's the reason and that's it unfair. Worked. But also if... If uh, Spice C makes it so that you can make a game that, if it's just making it easier but mm -hmm. not less powerful, then mm -hmm. it's unfair to give them a category. It's it's like it's like you're it's like giving the category for the junior 
team or what have you. I'm not saying yeah. it is. I'm I, just saying the Batari it, basic it it makes it easier. An, it yeah. puts an assumption that programming a game in a certain way is going to be best. And that's a bad assumption to make. Yeah. Even if it's true, it's not. It's yeah. still not right. Yeah. And so there will be like, yeah, Batari Basic, Assembly, and Spicy, and then a best homebrew overall. Yeah. Yeah, you can and, do that. And we're also probably going to introduce size as well. Um, oh, no, maybe size, maybe not size. I'm still on the fence on that. But definitely a single programmer category. Because it is a, quite a challenge to make yep, a whole that's game a, that's by a, that's yourself. That's a good one, yeah. yeah. Um, because team uh, programs, uh, games by teams, usually are usually pretty good. Yeah. Because people are specializing. Yeah, yeah, it's that's, like you've got that's a, true. But you've uh, got an audio guy, you've got a graphics guy, you've got a programmer, you've got it, a, it does this add. And you previously said and you you can use code from someone else, so mm. like it, you have to ask the question: Can you? In this category, Ways. can you have used code from someone else? Because if not, a, then you it does. You basically would have to write it without using code from someone else. And how do you even police that? Yeah. So it's, you can't. it does complicate things. It yeah. does, but I think it's... <clears throat> yeah, because even the single programmers, they're in the forums going, um, hey, I need some help with this. Does that constitute help, like being part of the team yeah it's just yeah. Asks, it just asks a question it, it is a yeah. really good category to have i very yes. much approve of it oh it's yeah, just yeah ask the question of like how do you police it and how do you uh that would rule out atari basic and spicy yeah uh, but it, but that doesn't matter because this is just a category like having yeah. one for atari basic and spicy yeah it would it's be like category. it's like a category that's like you know i don't think it does rule out those um, those are just modules offered up by the community. You can use them in any way you want. They're not actively helping you. They're not going, oh, you, you know, uh, whoever, you know, Daryl Spice Jr. or John Champeau made this module. Yeah. They didn't make it for your game. They made it for any game. And you putting that to work in a good way is what makes the game. It's like, yeah, you could have a, a module for a, a title screen, but the title screen could look like garbage. Mm -hmm. Or it could be look like this. It could look like really clean and slick and use beautiful colors. And yeah, I, think, I think you could have the category programming is always using other people's codes, no matter yeah. what you do, because someone has done it before you, even if you don't know. Even if you've and analyzed it, another game. It's like, oh, yeah, how did yeah. they do it's that It's like game? learning how to program is learning how to use someone else's code. Yes. Um, always by example and so you would have to it would be it would be that you the one person did all of the things <laughs> yeah you know what i mean like they put it all together it wasn't a team effort i guess is the thing you would have no. to just you just to some degree you just have to be like is this a solo endeavor is it not and judge it yeah it's tough the the but. the thing is you you will have um you will have the assistance of other people being able to ass assess it and object. It's like if yes. you if you look oh, at a game yes. and go, we think this game is a solo endeavor, then that's good enough. And if someone else says, oh, but it wasn't, and they can say because this, this, and this, because you can go, I you, helped can, you can go, whatever. oh, that's a good point. Ruled that out. One, that one's ruled out. You know, like that's yeah. just how you have to do things. Like, yeah, uh, yeah, we would like the person who helped them would want to take credit. Like, it would come out in the wash, I would think, uh, a bunch of the times. You like would also have to would... wonder what, like, if somebody was genuinely trying to cheat to get into the category, you'd <laughs> that have to too. wonder is it really, why. Yeah, are they, <laughs> is this really going to happen that they're going to go, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm going to cheat and risk my reputation just for a chance at winning an award? No, yeah. It's yeah. ridiculous. Yeah. It's it's too too complicated. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's it's too much work on their behalf to be dirty cheaters to even think that they would do that. Yeah. And to have help from somebody that would not want to take credit so that they could possibly get this award. It's ridiculous. Um anyway, but those are those are considerations for the 2019 that are we're taking under consideration for it. Um anyway, we're done, I think. Uh it's two o'clock, it's two hours right on the dot. Good hey, job. Nice. Our banter pushed it over the line. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. 
Uh, and let's uh, say goodbye to a bunch of people. Uh, let's switch back to my chat screen here. Thrust 26. Uh, well, it's Thomas. Um, and Daryl, Spice Jr., Spiceware. Ice Bosta, Mr. Fix, S. Ramirez. Uh, a lot of people hopped Dan, out early. Dan ABC. Oh, Dan ABC jumped in at the earlier. end. Yeah. Uh, Ground Trooper. So a lot of people came today which was very nice. Uh, Micron bus, scrolling back here. Uh, at least it doesn't reset. It used to reset every time somebody ch chatted. Yeah. Now it goes more messages below. Oh, Thank yeah. God, oh my God. Kev73, uh, said Dan ABC already. Uh, Johnny WC23, John Shampoo. Uh, that's as far as I can scroll back. There might have been some people at the beginning, but we already said hi to everybody who jumped in the beginning. So thank you very much, S. Ramirez. We love doing this show, and we will be back next Wednesday with a whole new roster of great games. Some new, some old, some in between, but they're always going to be fun. Um, there's another one coming up soon, another game that uh, we're going to have an exclusive on which is very exciting, uh, that is going to be released and has never had even a, a ROM released online. So never, nobody's actually ever played this game. Where is my list of games? It, it is called uh, Spaceman Splorf. Um, it is like a flappy type game, hmm. um, but you're a spaceman avoiding uh, rocks in space. They put out a video of the demo of it and it's going on sale that day. Um, so we're going to play it on the day that it's going on sale. And it's made by Pond Software, which is a play on words from Ocean Software from back in the 80s. They made a bunch of games. So that is going to be on a Wednesday, I believe, on the 17th, 11 a.m. Um, oh, Thrust played the work in progress some years ago. Oh, did you? Oh, very cool. So there was some... Um, yeah, it's been in the works for a long, long, long time. Um, but I have a um, final version of the game um, that they're very nice to... Uh, oh, it is on Atari Age? Is there a work in progress? Interesting. Ooh, I'll have to look for that because I'll put that into my notes. Uh, so I uh, don't know what's going to be going on the next show. I'll have to do some research for that. And there is also Homebrew Ra uh, Tournament Round 2. Minor 2049er, because they're using all the winners from the 2018 Atari Awards for the tournaments now. Ah. So that's on April. We're in April? What month is it today? Yeah, we're in April. So that's Mar uh, May 1st. they will be playing that one. I don't know, Thrust. I don't know if it was on Atari Age. It might have been. It has been around for a while. It does seem unlikely that you would have a false memory of having to play the game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, it, very unlikely. Yeah. I mean, it's... it's yeah. Um, and, of course, Dan Kitchen's Gold Rush is coming up at some point. We don't know when. i uh, still putting the final polish on that for the demo. And also his interview at Portland Retro Gaming Expo is coming out soon as well. But I'm going to put that out just before the world debut of Gold Rush so that it kind of leads into it. Yeah. So that's it for today's show, and we're hungry. We're going to go eat some food. I already ate. You already ate? Oh, no, I'm going to eat food or something. I might eat again, but <laughs> I did already eat. Dirty <laughs> cheater. Okay. Um, so thanks for tuning in. We'll be back next Wednesday, 11 a.m. with Erlen again. So thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.